Hi, this is Katkam Lessons channel and in this video I would like to start a new series of videos on this channel about creating 3D models and so far I have mainly worked in CAD systems which are systems for modeling parts with rather regular shapes and specific dimensions. However, for a long time I have wanted to learn Blender which is also a 3D design system but is more of a 3D graphics system it is more artistic than technical software. I have tried to start working with this program a few times. Once I went through a few tutorials and managed to create some 3D models by following the tutorial, but I noticed that it wouldn't be easy and that Blender is a powerful software. And I didn't really have time to delve into learning a new program. However, some time ago a CAD sketcher add-on appeared which introduced some typical CAD solutions to Blender and I thought I would start learning Blender by learning to create 3D models using this add-on. This series of videos won't be a typical tutorial because I will also be learning the methodology of working in such programs since, as I mentioned, I usually use CAD programs. And knowing one CAD program makes it very easy to transfer that knowledge to other similar programs, but here it is something new for me and apart from a few attempts, I haven't really had much contact with such programs. In this series I would like to document my learning process. And ok, let's move on to installing Blender and the CAD Sketcher add-on. As for Blender, Blender is software developed under open source principles, it is free software and we can freely use this program. Similarly, with FreeCAD both are open source, but Blender has founding for development and simply develops much faster than FreeCAD and in its field is not just an alternative to paid programs of this type, but is often considered on par with those programs. It is really a powerful tool and this is both a disadvantage and advantage for me at the beginning of working with this system. It was a disadvantage because it was hard for me to find my way around the interface of this program. Now I would like to approach it again more calmly. I would like to get to know this program and just some time ago a CAD sketcher add-on appeared which introduced CAD capabilities to this program. We have here simply such a CAD sketcher in which we create 2D sketches with specific dimensions and based on these sketches we create 3D solids. And we will get to that in a moment, but first let's move on to downloading Blender. Go to the blender.org and click the download button or click download here. And here download the installation file for your system. And as you can see we have versions for Windows, Mac and Linux. Download the Blender for your system and install the Blender. This is the standard installation, just click next. And once you have installed Blender, to install Cut Sketcher add-on, go to this page. I will place the link to this page in the description of this video and here download the zip file and then install this file according to this instruction. After installation start Blender and go to install the CAD Sketcher add-on, go to the edit, preferences, here select get extensions, here expand this menu and select install from disk and select the zip file with CAD Sketcher add-on and after installing this add-on the commands will appear here. I have to enable this add-on ok and we have new commands here ok let's close this window and here we have new commands and here we have new tab, sketcher tab. To show these tabs click this button or just hit the N key on your keyboard. And before we move on to working with the cut sketcher add-on I would like to set the units to millimeters and to do this look for the scene properties here, click this icon, expand units and here in the length set millimeters, ok. And now let's set the unit scale and here as millimeters enter 0 0.001. 
This will make the blender unit equal to 1 millimeter. And we also need to adjust the grid. Go to this menu and here as scale enter 0 0.001. And okay, now we have the unit set to millimeters, but these are our settings, not the default blender settings. And now to avoid repeating this every time we start blender, it is worth saving these settings as default settings. And to do this, go to the file menu select defaults and save startup file and ok and now the settings we have at this moment will be the default settings and every time we start blender these settings will be loaded and that's all for today this was supposed to be a short introduction to the new series of videos and I also wanted to show how to install the cut sketcher add-on and I think new videos on working with blender will be coming soon. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.